All right, so I'm listening to 88.3 FM in Phoenix, Arizona. And let's see what they got to say about Islam. Muhammad can fight his men in his days with sexual activities that is raping the females of the Jews and the Christians, like Mohammedan, those for the fall of Muhammad 1400 years later on October 7th in Israel. The raping of the female is part of the victory of Islam. And then they said, they told Muhammad, what, what happened if we die? What will happen if we kill this? Oh, that's even better. Why? Because then it's paradise to have taken the two forever version and you'll have sex with them 100 times a night. So sex is a real thing in Islam. Muhammad invites his men on this world to perform jihad that they can rape the females of the captive and in eternity that they'll enjoy sex as Allah stated in the Quran and Muhammad taught in the Hadith. This is 100% Islam. Let's hear more. All right, so that's Usama uh, Datta. And the only reason I know that name is because I researched about him a few months ago. And what he just declared is troubling because one, it's not true. He is a liar. I mean, a complete liar, a deceiver. And if you're a Christian, you know who the deceiver is. Yeah, Shaitan or Satan, the devil. And what's more troubling is not that this guy is saying this, he has the freedom of speech, he can be an idiot if he wants, it's not a problem. But it puts the lives of Muslims in America who live in Phoenix in danger because this guy is lying about Muslims, saying all this false stuff about Muslims. And it only takes some crazy idiot to hear it and then act on it. 